hello everyone welcome to another simple tutorial in open box tech channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the problem of if you're getting this error here the, the application is unable to start correctly and the error code is 067007b and click ok to close the application so i'm going to show you how to fix that problem so first of all you just need to go to the search bar here search for control panel if you search for control panel here you can see there's the control panel app here so just click to open that up and if you have category option here just choose the category option and go to the programs option here and under the programs and features you will see option called turn windows features on or off so choose that here you need to check that your net framework and net framework 4.8 is installed and also check mark in it so you just need to check mark these two here and if you didn't update it the net framework here you can just click ok and this will automatically show you the update option here as you can see and it's all is going to download the required files that you need so be sure to check mark that and also if you don't update it that version you just need to update that and try to run the program now hope this will work and if it doesn't work we're going to show you another solution for this problem here so you need to go to the browser here and download the direct x runtime user here so just group google here and google direct x runtime end user and this link will be show here download direct x end user runtime so just click on it then you have to scroll down and you will see option called download here so just click download and you will get a pop up like this and if you are using chrome it will be downloaded here so just click save file and as you can see it's downloading here it's downloaded so you just have to run it to install the directx here now you just have to choose i accept the agreement click next then don't uncheck the install the bing bar here don't install that click next then you just have to click next here and it will install and you just have, and as you can see installation is complete now you just have to click finish after that you just need to restart your pc and hope this will work for the problem that you are having so if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching